Hello and welcome to the Gothic Unicorn. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make these little bottles and jars that you can see here on my witchy kitchen dresser. Now they're not difficult but the first thing that you need for the bottles are these individual eyedrop packaging thingamabobs and then the jars are um, plastic aquarium tubing. This I bought by the meter from a DIY store. I'm also going to need hot glue, which is just out of sight, craft knife, some scraps of funky foam, and my two small hole punches. Now, the first thing you need to do is to trim down the um, eyedrop packaging. Now, there is actually a little bit at the side, like a little seam, which I've already trimmed off on a couple of these. So what I'm going to do is I am simply going to slice the bottom off. Of course, it won't go all the way through. Now, you do sometimes still get little bits of the eye drops in there and we don't want that in our bottles. So I'll take the lid off. I actually keep these lids because I have trimmed them down and made things with them, but that's just me. So what I've now got, if you can see, is a little glass bottle shape. It's about flat now. Move those out of the way. And I'm going to cut another one. Do excuse my poor camera skills. I'm still learning. And this one, I'm thinking, is going to resemble those sort of conical flasks that you get in science laboratories. The tube you do in just the same way, cut pieces off and here's a couple that I cut earlier. You can cut this with scissors, you don't even need the craft knife for that. Now it's glue gun time. On a heat proof surface and this is a non-stick um, baking tray sheet, bought it from a pound shop and it is absolutely brilliant because nothing sticks. Now, what I want is I want a nice big glob of glue. Which hopefully you can see. And into that, I'm going to stick my bottles. I'm going to repeat over here when the glue gun obliges and repeat with my future jars. Now this is perhaps the only time consuming bit because you have to wait for the glue to dry. Now I've given the glue a couple of minutes by the magic of um, filming and what I'm going to do is peel that off and I'm going to do that with both pieces and it peels off quite easily. Now I'm just going to grab a pair of scissors and cut into the extra glue and then pretty much as if by magic if I can actually so you can see it you can peel off the excess glue you can use a knife or your scissors to start it or your fingernails like I am And I'm going to do the same with these. And 
this one's a bit thicker so it doesn't want to start but it will go as you can see please excuse my hands now what you've got is you've got a lovely sealed bottom which means that anything that you can fit through that little hole at the top you can fill your bottles with if you wanted to um, paint the, the get the bottles completely coloured as in the one that's there or partly coloured as in some of those on the top you can do that before you put the glue down I'm not in this case because I think I want these to be empty but I am going to show you quickly how I do my lids and that is with funky foam fun foam craft foam this is a kids stuff so I think it is called fun foam now for the bottles I use a small my small hole punch it's not the smallest I've got a set of them and there is one smaller and I'll get it the right way around in a minute so I can see it I do it the what you do is you punch out a little teeny tiny dot of foam then that is glued on the top and it makes you a bottle stopper the same process different sized give you a simple little lid for your jars now you can obviously fill your jars as you may be able to see that I've done on here with all kinds of everything and then you can label them these again I'm not going to do for now but there we have it some very simple jars and bottles for your miniature scene.